Yay, time for a maths lesson. Woo! Hello. This lesson is on finding averages from uh, frequency tables. Uh, it's a lesson that appears in both GCSE Foundation and Higher. The link to the exam questions can be found just underneath this video. So if you haven't already, go and get those first so that you can go through the questions as I'm going through them too. Now, this video does incorporate a couple of different things that we've covered in other lessons. So if you haven't done frequency polygons yet, make sure you're okay with those um, before moving ahead. Similarly, if you uh, need a refresher on averages on their own, mean, median, mode, um, then you might want to have a look at those videos first. I'm going to give a quick recap on some of that as I'm going through the questions as well. Now, there's a fair bit to do, so we're going to crack on straight away um, with some of this stuff and just go through a few of the explanations first. So, first of all, frequency just means how many, so how frequently something happens, how many people, how many times, how many whatevers, okay? That's what frequency is, how many. All right, so in a frequency table, we might be looking at something like this. So this is a frequency table, oh, spelt wrong, um, showing how many lessons have been skipped by different people. So for example, um, uh, there, how many people skipped no lessons was 17. So 17 perfect students that never missed a lesson. How many students missed one lesson? 13 students, okay? How many students missed two lessons? Nine students. And how many students missed three lessons? 11 students. So the frequency column is telling you how many students skipped this many lessons. How many skipped this many lessons? Now from this, we can work out a few different things. We can work out uh, some of the averages uh, already, but we can also work out how many students there are in total just by adding up the frequency column. So for example, 17 and 13 makes 30, plus 9, 39, plus 11 is 50. So we know that this data is out of 50 students. So out of 50 students, 17 of them didn't skip, 13 skipped once, 9 skipped two, and 11 skipped three sessions. Okay, so that's frequency. How many did the whatever the left hand column is. And that's what a frequency table will look like. Now this is a single data set frequency table. So we've just got a number down here. Sometimes we have a grouped frequency table and we'll be looking at those as well today. So just a quick recap then, these are your three different averages. You'll be asked all of these questions in the frequency table. So if you're not familiar on those, maybe pause this, read through this, make sure you're okay with understanding that. So there are your different averages. And you'll also just need to remember your inequality symbols. So more than, less than, equal to, all those different symbols. So again, if you're not familiar with those, go ahead and pause the video, have a read through, and you can go back to other videos and questions if you just need to recap as well. All right. We're going to get cracking straight away by looking at uh, some exam questions. So uh, again, if you have downloaded the file, you can bring that up. They're very similar questions that we'll be going through together. So let's just have a look at a couple of them. All right. So um, I've got a question here with a frequency table, just like the one that I showed you. And the second question is a grouped frequency table, which means that um, the range uh, the column here has a range of values, so from 26 to 30 here. So we'll do both of these together. Just a reminder, your uh, exam questions are nearly exact, some of them are nearly exactly the same, I've just changed the numbers, so table shows information about the number of times, blah, 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 same thing, okay, and it's got more questions below as well on grouped frequency, so do download those. Okay, well, I'm just going to work through this as if I was in an exam and you can follow along. So the table shows some information about the number of times each student in a class was late last week. So similar to the example I gave you earlier, but this time it's not about skip, it's about how many times were they late. And we've got these options in the table here. Some students were late zero times, one time, two times, three times or four times. And the question itself asks us to work out the averages of 
this. So we've got three different averages here. Modal means mode, remember. Median, middle, um, and mean, where we add them all up and divide by how many there are. Now, we'll just work through these one by one. So modal means mode, which is the most common. So this is by far the easiest thing for us to work out. Um, what's the most common? Well, remember, frequency means how many. So the modal class or the modal group is always the one that's got the highest frequency in. So if I look through my column, uh, nice and easy here, 13 is the biggest frequency number. Now, what I don't want to do is go ahead and just write 13 here because that's how many students were late in that particular group. But we want the modal number of lates. So we look down the lates, which one's got the highest? It was 13 people skipped once. That's more people skipped one lesson than any other amount, okay? So only six skipped zero, 11 skipped two, seven skipped three, three skipped four. So the most common, the most often thing was lates were just one per student. So I'll go ahead and just write one, like so. Okay, let's have a look at the second one. So work out the median number of lates per student. Now, median means middle value. So if we were to line up all the students who got zero lates, then all the students who got one late, then all the students who got two, then three, then four, the person standing in the middle of that line is the median student or the two median students um, on there as well. So to work that out then, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a cumulative frequency column of this table. What that just means is I'm going to add up the frequencies as I'm going down and just write them down here. So uh, I'm just going to put CF for cumulative frequency and I'm just going to add up the frequency column. So six add zero, six add nothing because there's nothing above it is six and then add 13 to that number. So six add 13 is giving me 19 and then 19 add 11. That's giving me 30. And then 30 add seven, giving me 37. And then add three more is gonna give me 40. Now, the reason I need to do that is two reasons. Um, I want to be able to see how many students there are in total, because then I know who's gonna be standing in the middle. So I know that there's 40 students. And the way that we work out who the middle person is, is we take the total, so 40, and we add one to it, add one, and we half that number. Okay, so 40 add one divided by two. Well, 40 add one is 41, and divided by two is 20.5. Now, obviously there's no 20 and a half person, so we're gonna be looking for the group that contains both the 20th person and the 21st person, okay? Because that they would be in the middle if I was to count in from the outside of that line, the 20 and 21st person would be the two people standing in the middle. Okay, so we wanna know which group has got the 21st person in. Well, this group's only got up to the sixth person in, this group's got up to the 19th person in, and this group's got up to the 30th person in, okay. Well, here we've gone past the 20th and 21st person, so they must be in this group because the group before them only had up to the 19th person, so the 20th and 21st person must be in this group because this goes all the way up to 30 from over 19, so from 20 up to 30. Okay, so it again, the median number of lates per student, that is not 20 and 21, that's which group the 20th and 21st person were in. And they were in this group, so that was two. So the median number was two. Okay, and that's also shown here. I'll put a little mark saying that, that is for median. All right. Okay, moving on to the mean. So the mean here is the longest question and it's worth the most marks, worth three marks and the others are only worth the one because they're nice and quick. Now for the mean, what we need to do is work out 
how many lates there are in total for each category. Um, so for example, if I look at two, the number of students that were late twice was 11. So there was two lates each and there were 11 of them. So 11 times two. Now, how I write that is I would create another column and this time call it uh, LF, L for lates and then F for frequency. Okay, and that would be a simple formula. I'm just going to do lates. So for this first row here, it's zero. And then multiply that by how what the frequency is. So zero times six is zero. Okay, and then I do the next one. So one times 13 is 13. Two times 11 is 22. 3 times 7 is 21, and 4 times 3 is 12. Okay, so the reason that we do that is that that shows the total number of lates. It's adding all the lates together. So if three students got four lates, then there were 12 lates in total in that group okay so we've got this is how many lates were in each group which we've just worked out we now just want to add them all up okay so 0 plus 13 13 plus 22 is 35 plus 21 is 56 and plus 12 is 68 so there were 68 lates in total so all I'm doing there is adding all the answers up here. So 13, 22, 21, 12, adding them all up, and that comes to 68 lates in total. And I'm dividing that by how many students there are. Now, remember, this question doesn't say how many students there are, but we worked that out already by doing cumulative frequency because we're adding up how many were in each here, adding those up, told us that the total amount, the total how many was uh, 40, this number here. Okay, so 68 lates in total, and that's split between 40 students. So again, just gonna bring up trusty Casio, 68 divided by 40, and that's 17 over 10, or 1.7. It's okay when you're dealing with means to have decimal numbers, um, and that's normally the number that you'll put down on the paper as well. So 68, how many lates there are in total, divided by 40, how many students there were in total, and that gave us an answer of 1.7. So I'm just gonna write all that down here. So 68 divided by 40, doesn't matter how you write your divide here, 1.7 that's it that's my answer for the mean for this particular group uh, for this particular question and that's all five marks for this okay i'll zoom out for a sec and then we'll move on to the next question great so let's have a look at a grouped frequency table then so question two here um, is talking about uh, the table shows information about the waist sizes of 80 customers who bought belts from the shops in May. So these are the belt sizes and the waist sizes for those belts. And frequency is how many, remember how many people bought that particular belt, so had that particular waist size. And again, we're gonna do exactly the same thing for the uh, mode, median, and mean for these uh, this table here. So mode, nice and easy, which one's got the biggest frequency? Straight away, we can see that the biggest frequency is 55, and we want uh, waist size. So which waist size had 55? Well, that's this waist size here, 26 to 30. So I'm just gonna jot that down, 26. And I'm just writing out the group exactly as it's written in that waste column, okay? So that was the group that had the biggest frequency. So that's the most. So that's the modal 
um, group interval. Class interval just means which of these groups, okay, which of these ranges. Okay, work out the median class interval for the waist size. Okay, median. So remember, for median, what we're doing is we're going to just create a short cumulative frequency column. And we're just going to add these numbers up. So we started at 55. We're going to add up 14 to that. So that's going to be 69. And then we're going to add another 8 to that. So that's going to be 77. And then we're going to add another 3 to that. And that's going to be 80. And that backs up the question, because in this question, it actually tells us there's 80 customers. OK, so out of 80, how do we work out median? We, if there were 80 people all lined up in terms of waist size, we want to find the middle one or the middle two people. And the formula again for that, we used it last time, is how many are there in total? Add one and then divide that number by two. Okay, so this is the formula to work out the median. We'll just do it like that. Okay, so 80 add one is going to be 81. Divide that number by two and we're going to get 40.5. Now again, the 40.5th person that they don't exist. So we want the 40th person and the 40 uh, first person. So 45 is between 40 and 41. So we want the 40th person and the 41st person. Well, that's nice and easy here because the very first group includes all the people up to the 55th person. So the 40th and 41st person are going to be in this first group because it's including all the people up to the 55th group. So again, I'm just going to write that first group down as the median here. So 26 is less than W, less than or equal to 30. Okay, that's it. All right. Okay, nice and straightforward so far, same as above. Uh, lastly, calculate an estimate for the mean waist size. Okay, now there are two things uh, uh, that we need to do here. And the first is different from the last question. We don't have a specific number we can times by frequency by here. So what we need to do is work out what the middle value is in each of the groups. Okay, so we'll call that M. And that's the midpoint of these groups. Now, if you're ever not sure on what the midpoint is, you can add the two numbers together. So 30 and 26. So 30 and 26 makes 56. And then you half that number. So 56 divided by two is going to be 28. Okay, so the midpoint for this one is 28. And you can see between 26 and 30, there's four in total. So the one in the middle is going to be two more than the bottom. So if there's four gap from 26 to 30, then a gap of two, half of that is going to tell us what the midpoint is um, there. So 30 and 34 added together, make 64, half of 64 is 32. And again, we can see that nice and clearly that 32 would be the middle number there, okay? Next, um, 34 and 38 makes 72, and half of 72, no, sorry, 68, 70, yeah, 72, uh, and half of 72 would be 36. And we can see here it's actually just going up in fours. 28 to 32 is a rise of four. 32 to 36 is a rise of four. So I can do that here. As long as the group sizes are the same as each other. So a four gap in between all of them. So I'll just check that 40 is right. So 38 to 42. 38 plus 42 is 80. Half of 80 is 40. So we've got our midpoint values. Okay. So... Instead of doing what we did earlier and doing late times F, L, F, this time we're going to be timesing the uh, M value by the frequency. Okay, and that's going to give us an estimate. The middle value is going to give us the best estimate to work out the mean. Okay, so how I'd write that then is M, F. Don't read too much into the initials. Okay. So we're going to have some big numbers here. So we're going to use calculator um, on this question. 
So 28 times 55, I'll just clear this over here, 28 times 55 is 1540. So I'll just write that here, 28 times 55 equals 1540. And this one is going to be 32 times 14. So the midpoint 32 times frequency 14. Thirty two times fourteen is going to give us four four eight. And this is actually the same process that we did in the last question. Um, now we're just timesing to find those that what that mean total is going to be. So thirty six times eight. Two eight eight. Oh. The last one forty times three is a hundred and twenty. Okay. So I've got all these which are the totals for each of the columns. So for example, 55 people had a waist size in this band. So the middle value is this. So on average, 55 times 28, the total waist size of the 55 people altogether would be 1540. So we're using the middle value to give an estimate for that. Okay, so mean is add them all together and divide by how many there are. So we're gonna just do that now on our calculator. So 1540, Add four four eight, add two eight eight, add one twenty, oh, and I'm just going to equals there to give my number. So two three nine six, two three nine six, oh, two three nine six total. Okay, so I know what they all add up to there. So, so we've got two, three, nine, six divided by how many people there are in total. So 80, that's our total amount of waist size divided by how many people there are. Two, three, nine, six divided by 80. And you can see I've already got it up here. It gives us 29.8. Nine five. So two three nine six divided by eighty gives us twenty nine point nine five as our mean average. Okay, and that's it for the three types of averages for this question. Now there is one further question which is a scenario based one. So let's just have a quick look through that. Uh, belts are made in sizes small, medium, large, and extra large. Jenny needs to order more belts in June. The modal size of belt is small. So we know that the most was small, um, 26 to 30 for mine. Um, Jenny is gonna order three quarters of the belts in size small. Um, the manager of the shop tells Jenny she should not order so many small belts. Who is correct, Jenny or the manager? You must give a reason for your answer. Okay, so Jenny's gonna order three quarters in small. So what we wanna work out here is, is 55 out of 80 the same as three quarters? If not, um, if it's uh, too many, then the manager's right. If, it's, uh, if it does work out as three quarters, um, then Jenny would be right. So all I'm gonna do here is write 55 out of 80. There were 55 people who were small last time, and that's out of 80. So 55 were small out of 80 people in total. Now, if um, we want to work out if this is equivalent to three quarters, all that we're gonna do is simplify. So what number's gonna go into 55 and 80? Well, I know straight away um, that any numbers, two numbers, if they end in zero and five, then five's always gonna go into them. 
So how many times does five go into 55? Well, I know five goes into 50 10 times. It's gonna go into 55 11 times. How many times does five go into 80? Well, I know that five goes into 20 four times and there's four 20s in 80. So four times four is 11 out of 16. So, and can I simplify any further? Well, 11 is prime, so I'm not gonna be able to get that number down any further unless 16 is divisible by the same number, 11, which it isn't. So that is my most simplified fraction, 11 out of 16. Now, 11 out of 16 isn't quite three quarters. The way I could work that out is on a calculator, just use my fraction button here and just type in 11 out of 16 and press equals. And I know that three quarters is gonna be 0 0.75. So if I press my SD button, I can see that this is only 0 0.6875, okay? So it's not quite three quarters there. So the manager is right, okay? So we know that this number equals 0 0.6875. And we know that that's not quite three out of four, three quarters. So the manager is right. And that's it, the end of this question um, and the end of these demonstrations for this topic. I hope you found that helpful. Um, do download the questions. I'll just bring this whole page up on so you can have a quick look at that and want, if you want to pause it. Um, but otherwise, that's the end of this lesson. Hope to see you next time. Um, and I hope you found that helpful. All right, bye.